this is one of the sample forms that they sent me and it's printed from a template in Excel. Down in the bottom left corner you can see the logo and you can see all the little dots that are on the paper. And just up a bit you can see the form number and there in brackets it says master 551 so when I enter data on this sheet it's going to be recorded under that number. Well to fill it in I just use this pen and write the way I normally would which is kind of messy. Check boxes. You can draw a little map. Back in the office, I just plug the pen into its stand and it's ready to import to Excel. In Excel, there's an add-in for CaptureX and that creates a tab on the ribbon and from there I could import pen data. And that pulls in the, the sheet that I created. And here's the sheet tab for 551 which is that form that I just imported. So it's picked up the date correctly and the time that I put in. I wrote clear there but it seems to have got my name a bit wrong. If I look over to the side it shows that field in the original form and if I look at it I can see that that should be Deborah not Drew. So I can type over that value to correct it. It also shows the the map that I drew and the boxes that I checked and the comment. There's also a master summary sheet where you can show all of the forms that you've imported and it summarizes the data and then you can export that data to another workbook. And so instead of having a workbook with all the individual sheets, you've now got a much smaller summary file that you could send to someone else. And another thing you can do is go to the survey master sheet, which is the form that we created and printed for people to fill in using their pens. And in that sheet, you can highlight the cells, all the, the columns that contain the form. And on the toolbar there's a summarize button. So if I click that and click Capture X enabled cells, it will create a summary sheet. Okay, and here's the, the summary sheet that it created. It's got a list of all the sheets in this workbook. And Here's the one that I imported a few minutes ago. And in this summary sheet, you can see in the formula bar that these are formulas linking to the sheets in the back. So if you update that sheet, then it would update this master. 